okay a systematic sample is quite a quick method so this is where the required elements are chosen at regular intervals in an ordered list to find the regular interval you would take your population size and divide it by sample size what i mean by regular interval is you may be taking every 10th element every 15th element every 100th element and that is determined by this formula over here so a telephone directory contains 50,000 names. A researcher wishes to select a systematic sample of 100 names from the directory. Explain in detail how the researcher could obtain such a sample. So first of all, what is our nth interval? We have 50,000 as our population. Is that enough serious? 50,000. And our sample size as stated is 100 names ah that's too many zeros so that must mean we have let's get rid of two zeros 500 as our nth interval now how you would take a systematic sample is you use this interval to begin with to choose a random number choose a random number in sampling frame from and then from one to whatever your nth interval is so 500 to start sample you basically then choose every like 500th person in the sampling frame until you have obtained a sample of 100 so choose every 500th name in sampling frame or telephone directory in this case would be your sampling frame until a sample of 100 is obtained this is quite a nice one there was not that much writing so now let's look at advantages and disadvantages advantages as you can see it's simple and quick to use and it is suitable for large samples and large populations as you can see it was 50,000 which is probably the biggest population we've seen on this channel so far but disadvantages is you need a sampling frame and it can introduce bias if the sampling frame is not random for example if the sampling frame is ordered what you want to do is you want to get a sampling frame jumble it up and then give each other or then give each um, element or sampling unit a number